Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove light stands and other photography equipment from your photo shoots in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to remove photography equipment from your pictures. Now, as strange as this might sound, it happens all the time. Sometimes we just need to get a soft box in closer to our subject to actually light them, but in the end photo, we want that soft box to be gone. So using a couple tools, the brush tool, the spot healing brush tool, and the regular healing brush tool, we're gonna remove all of this stuff from the background and even extend the background a little bit as well. We got a great tutorial, let's jump into Photoshop. Here's our sample image. You can actually download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. We're gonna go ahead and start off by creating a new layer here. And my first tool, like the best tool for the job when you're first getting started is this guy right up here, the Spot Healing Brush Tool. So let's go ahead and click there. Now with Spot Healing Brush Tool, you wanna make sure up at the top here, you have Sample All Layers checked. That's gonna allow you to do this on a new layer. And for your type, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to choose Content Aware. And from here, this is a very simple process. Basically, all we have to do is just paint right over top of anything we want to remove, and Photoshop is going to basically just do the rest of it for us. As you can see, I just painted right over that object, and it's completely replaced. Look at this, it's even gonna do a little bit of background extension for us, because how this tool works is it figures out the surrounding areas, and then based on the content of wherever you paint, it can analyze things like angles and edges, and it's going to replace it with, it with what it thinks is going to be the best shot. Now in this case, we have a fairly simple background and that makes this job much, much easier. If it, for instance, this tool doesn't do exactly what you want, like right there, uh, you just paint over it again. That's really, <laughs> that's really all there is to it. So let's go ahead and paint over that again one more time. And there we go. Now you might recognize some of these areas you can kind of see here, it's a little bit jagged right there. That's not a big deal. If you get anything like that, I would recommend going to your regular healing brush tool, okay, right down here beneath your spot healing brush tool. And then here, again, our sample, we wanna make sure current and below is checked. And I'm gonna hold Alt or Option to sample the texture that I actually want and then paint over. And it's gonna do a great job blending. So I always recommend starting with the spot healing brush tool and then coming in with the regular healing brush tool as needed. And there we can see it's completely replaced and our background is completely seamless. All right, so this looks really great. Now it's time for our other light stand and we have a background as well. So we're gonna go back to our spot healing brush tool. We can just use the same layer and we're gonna paint right over top of, there we go, right over top of anything we want to be removed. And depending on the complexity of the object and the complexity of the background, it might do a great job, you know, the first go round. You might have to go a couple different passes to get something completely removed and looking good. So don't worry if it doesn't look good the first go. It's uh, usually just takes a couple times to make everything actually work. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. This is a hanger for a uh, background. There we go, look at that. And we're gonna go ahead and start painting over here. Now here's where it's gonna get a little bit more complicated because honestly Photoshop's like, all right, uh, what am I doing? So let's do a little bit of cleanup. And again, we wanna do our cleanup with the, with the regular healing brush tool. So start off with the spot healing brush tool always, and then go to the regular healing brush tool. Okay, so we'll start over here with the regular healing brush tool. Again, hold Alt or Option to sample the area that you want the texture, and then simply paint right over there here we go, and it's going to remove these objects. Sometimes you'll just have to do this a couple of times to really get it uh, looking exactly how you want. But there we go. Uh, thing is, you don't wanna get too close to edges because something like this can happen. You can see it there where it kind of looks like it's just kind of fuzzy and uh, kind of blurs out. You wanna make sure to undo that if you can and then stay away from those edges. If you do need to get really close to an object and paint where you have edges, that's when the clone stamp tool comes in handy. Alrighty, well let's go ahead and just finish this up really quick and then we'll show you how to use the clone stamp tool to finish up this background area. Fantastic. All right. So we're looking really good at this point. We just have one little area in the corner I wanna take care of. Now, how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna create a new layer and just grab my brush tool. So B for the brush tool and we're gonna hold Alt or Option to sample this background wall color because I just wanna get this a little bit better 
uh, in terms of color matching because it's a little bit dark right now. So this is just a really nice, easy way to kind of match the colors. There we go. And this is going to help our tools like the clone stamp tool and the spot healing brush tool. It's going to help those tools work a little bit better. All right, so don't be, you know, don't be afraid to use the brush tool. It's extremely powerful. And especially if you have, you know, areas like this to just have a solid color background. There we go. You can see I just kind of lightened that up all with the brush tool. Now, let's go ahead and create another layer above that. And I just need to get like the line down here to look like a solid line. It just looks like a bit of fuzz right now. <laughs> it doesn't look that real. That's OK. We can actually use our healing brush tool to do that. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option to sample this area here and start painting in with my Healing Brush tool. And you're gonna see the Healing Brush tool will take the texture from the area on the left and start to replace it on the right. I can only go a little bit because I only had a little area to sample, but that's okay. Hold Alt or Option again. We'll go ahead and sample our point. You can see I have a little preview window here of what I'm actually going to be painting. There we go. And the reason this Healing Brush tool works well here is that it's not trying to do a direct copy, it's just copying the texture. So we worked on the color here. Remember, this is where we kind of fixed the color. We just had a texture issue here, and that's where the healing brush comes in and allows us to just fill in that texture beautifully. Now, if you wanna go ahead and finish this off, in this case, I'm just gonna create a new layer, use a large soft edge brush, and just paint some color here, just this background color here to kind of like bring this all together because we did remove quite a bit on the right hand side there. So I'm just using a large soft edge brush there to just kind of paint in all the same color. And then if we need to, we can just use a layer mask and paint black over things like the plants. We don't want those to, sh we don't want the background to cover up the plants and anything we did right there. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and group those together and take a look at our before and our after. Here's our before and the after. So the big takeaways here are always start with the spot healing brush tool. Now that's going to get you most of the way. You might want to use the healing brush tool to add a little bit more. Don't be afraid to use the brush tool if you need to. And then you can always add texture back over top of that with the regular healing brush tool. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it's time to take a deep dive into Photoshop, check out Flurn Pro to learn things like retouching and compositing. We got a special discount for you in the link right down below. Thanks a lot. I'll flirty later. Bye everyone.